uh, and that people did not pay attention to, an injury, a football injury, a fall, uh, any type of thing that causes trauma that is not dealt with. We have to really assess the situation and, and bring some sort of protocol to the individual to allow them to heal and to allow the body to heal like it normally should. Personal injuries are very important. They have striking issues that affect the whole body dynamics, such as an ankle injury, an ankle issue will affect a knee, will affect the hip, will affect a low back, will affect the mid-back, will affect the neck. And people just don't get it. When I'm saying people, uh, insurance carries how a person who fell off of a ladder and landed on a bum and hurt their low back now has shoulder issues, you know, six months, a year later. Or so, headaches. Exactly. Exactly. Headaches. I mean, they're they're dealing with with uh, you know uh, issues with, with you know uh, with chronic headaches, uh, with dizziness, and and uh, you know the conversation that you and I always have uh, on on a on a secondary level is like, oh, this is not contributed to the injury. Okay, so they fell down, and somehow their whole body fell down, but there's only one injury. And that's like the low back, and that's it. You know, like none of the body, and this is what's so intriguing. I laugh about it. I just go, you know what? What color is the red bus? Right. I don't know. It's pink today because we have more pink. No, you cannot have a whole body engaged in a, in a, a traumatic acceleration, deceleration injury or an impact, and, and someone can tell us or a patient that, by the way, the only part that you have injured is – your low back or your neck, and that's it. And and you know, uh, you were mentioning right there when acceleration, deceleration. That that those are terms that are used primarily for um, describing someone coming from a, a a high velocity to a sudden stop, and, and it's a very common physics term and a very popular one in the legal realm. Um, and I'm glad that you used it because the thing that we're talking today is about motor vehicle accidents and specifically auto accidents that cause injuries. And leave people with problems many, many, many months later. You know, I, I know you know this. And, and from the time that I began my practice, the most common thing after a motor vehicle accident was someone that said, and I don't have anything that hurts, right? Absolutely. Uh, and, and then how long does it take before the symptoms show up, Mario? In your, Come on. In, I mean. Come uh, on. Realistically, Alex, I, I would say anywhere between three, three to four weeks, sometimes even longer. I have patients that that actually refuse treatment, and they tell me this. You know, like I had a, uh, I was hit by a car from the back. That's like real common. You know, right. people are, nowadays are, you know, they pay more attention to their cell phones than, than w what's in front of them or anywhere, distractions, right? So for, for whatever reason, you know, you get hit from the back. I mean, that, that incident I hear so many times, patients come in, they're dealing with headaches, migraines, severe migraines, where they're on heavy medications. Uh, they have neck issues, chronic, and they tell me, I've never been the same, and it started two years ago when this happened. Well, what that happened, that event was, I got hit from the back. Yeah. 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 And, and, and then they even tell me, I've never been the same again been damaged I, I you know what and and they refuse and i tell them well did you get any care no i didn't get any care because i was fine i felt fine and you know i didn't need it patients need to get evaluated after an auto accident they do because you never know what's going on and sometimes um the body has amazing capacities of hiding symptoms literally uh, uh you can have a person who comes in your office that hurts his low back and says i only have pain in my back in my low back then after a little quick assessment we just kind of move the neck and he goes ow that my that my neck hurts right. and i go well did it hurt before and i go no and I, and it's not that i'm stimulating it's it's that the pain in the low back camouflages other areas it's like almost like you hit, get hit by a hammer and all of a sudden on your toe you suddenly don't have back pain that's exact the, 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 that's the, exactly the, it the brain has the ability to kind yeah. of manipulate the symptoms and then later later two days later two weeks later after the carrier has called you and said are you okay then you start having a presentation of symptoms